Hey guys, what is up? Zoo Raider back at again with another video, and this is a little project I'm working on. Now, I was in physics class, and I was scrolling down Thingiverse, and I saw this auto off for 3D printers. Now, what this is, is as soon as the, um, the Z axis, so the, like the bed, um, once that reaches the bottom of the printer, uh, right here there is a switch, and that triggers it in order to um, shut off power to the printer. Now this is good if you're away, like for me if I'm at school or work and a print finishes, the printer won't be on for more, uh, more time just sitting there. So I saw this and I was like, well, I'm going to try to make my own a lot more complicated though. So what I'm using is I'm using an Arduino and what I have are a couple status lights. So we have green, red, and then over here we have yellow. Um, we have two switches, and then, um, one of those switches is then going to be converted to this, hold on one second, which, it's pretty much like a, like a little stop switch, you can see it in there. So, one of the, I think it's this one over here is going to be converted to that and but just pre pretend that's that one's there so this one is going to be sitting on the the z-axis right below the bed so when the z-axis comes down hits that switch it'll trigger it so um what i'm going to do is just hit the reset button so this is what it's going to do when it first comes on so the status leds are right here the relay is on uh, red means disarmed and uh, green means armed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this button on the left which will then arm it. Meaning that if the um, z-axis comes down and gets hit it'll turn off the relay. And what I did with the code so is um, when the Arduino is still on you can reset it and it'll go into disarm mode which will turn the relay back on so you can turn back on the printers to get it off that switch and you can see when you hit the button when it's disarmed nothing happens but as soon as you arm it hit the button goes off a second later now you can configure this time I think I'm gonna have mine after um, a minute that way the fans will have enough time to cool down uh, the extruder just a little bit until it turns off just so it's not 470 degrees um, the guy over here with this thing he was talking about or people in the comments were saying well what if uh, you turn it off there's a heat sink in there even though the heat sink isn't on the motor it's just um, a fan that's attached to the heat sink and the heat sink is attached to the block of aluminum which the extruder is on so it's not to cool the motor, it's to cool the extruder block to keep that at a nice temperature. So people that are worried about just turning your printer off afterwards, you don't have to worry about that. But just in case, I put it into the code. I can show you the code, um, at least some of the code. That is right here. So right here you can see there's a delay of one second. And I'll go, this is just going to be part one, um, there's going to be more parts to this, so I will definitely go over the code again. But you can see there's a one second delay, and if I change that to just say five seconds, and then I upload it. Give it a second. Okay, there we go. I'm definitely going to change the... Uh, what is it, the status LED for the, well actually I don't have to because it doesn't affect that. But anyway, so I'm going to arm it and then I'm going to hit the button and five seconds later this and the relay will turn off. There you go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the actual device that I want to turn on turn off and I will show you how that works. Okay, so now the dev that device is plugged in. 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit reset. Oh, LED pins are coming out. There you go. So now it reset. So the device came on. The solid state relay is on. Status LED is on. And it's disarmed. So no matter how many times you push this button, that thing won't go off. So then what we're going to do is we're going to hit arm. The green light comes on. Status light for this is still on. So as soon as this switch goes, boom, off. So that's just how, how that's going to work. So if I come back over to my printer, Joe, fat cat, come on, scoot, 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 scoot. So if you come over here, what I was going to do was, um, let me just raise this a little bit. Okay, so after I lift it a little bit, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna make a 3D printed box. You, you probably can't see because there's no light. Let me try going in from the side. Like right down here, I'm gonna have a box that will, um, ha will have that little switch. So when it goes down, it will get hit by it and trigger the power supply to turn off. Now. You can see it's this extension cord right here that's coming up right there. So let me reset it. It comes back on. Now what I was going to do was just take an extension cord or take a, a power supply cord like this one that I have hooked up here. And what I was going to do is cut it, go to like Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever, get a wall receptacle with like a box. And that way you can plug in multiple devices. You can make it for... Um, you can really make it for any device that you want, which is pretty cool. And this solid state relay will never really wear out because it's all solid, which is pretty awesome. And it can do up to 40 amps. Input voltage can be right off the pin of the Arduino and the output can be up to, I think this is 380 volts and as low as 24 volts. So that's pretty awesome. So... This is going to be part one of the auto off for a 3D printer. If you guys like this video, please like, favorite, and subscribe if you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Definitely going to be more soon. I'm going to be doing a lot of 3D printing of the case, some soldering of uh, this fun stuff. Um, yeah, it's going to be really fun. Might show it to my teacher for some extra credit. That would be pretty cool. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you later.